walk into videos by hour where you never know when we're going to have a catastrophic failure. That is all natural, biodegradable, oil dry because we spilled a bunch of oil. And we really didn't spill it, it comes squirting out. We blew our second stage mass cylinder seals. And <clears throat> I don't know if it broke inside and contaminated the oil, but the other side is damaged too. So, at minimum, the outside lift cylinders have to come off and go to the town and get either fixed or replaced. Ouch. So anyway, what the plan is, whoopsie doopsie. What the plan is, we'll get the carriage off and set off to the side. And then we're going to, uh, I don't know, we got to somehow raise, raise up the mass and support it and then pop the cylinders out. Sounds simple enough, but what we were told is to allow four to five hours to get those out from a mechanic that's done it before. I've never done this before, but I'm going to give it a go. Here we are one hour into it. Got the carriage out. Kind of nice having a second forklift. We have three forklifts. So anyway, the black bearings are the originals. And they're getting bad. Blue one is actually a replacement bearing we got about two years ago. That one's really bad. So anyway, two years ago we replaced six bearings. Two on here and then two up in here. We had the Toyota forklift dealer do that for us. Suppose I could have done it, but I was in a hurry, had them do it. Anyway, let's take a look at our cylinder. There you go. See all them stupid little scratches? So we had some kind of cylinder failure and the pieces got into the oil system. The pump pumped it around and I don't know why the filter didn't catch them all. It may have went into bypass, I don't know. Well, hello. All right, I had to take that call. It was the logger. Anyway, he's working on some white oak for us. Okay, so we're discussing the scratches in the cylinder. Okay, my best idea is <clears throat> had some failure inside the cylinder, metal got into the system, the filter didn't catch it all, or it, went, or it plugged it up and went into bypass, got into this cylinder, and it got into this cylinder. So anyway, for sure, this one's damaged and the other one's damaged. And I'm gonna have to investigate this some more. I can feel nicks in it. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. So if I have to replace all three cylinders, that's gonna be very, very expensive. But I'll keep working on it. Not sure how much time we have into it yet, but we're making progress. I had to go retrieve some more all natural biodegradable oil dry. We have more spillage. But anyway, got the main mass cylinder out, attached right there, sat right there, popped right out, came out real easy. And now we're hoisting this big long cylinder out, and it's obvious you cannot do this job without 16 foot ceilings. I had to lift this rail up with the forklift and block it up so it could get uh, the bottom past this and then it could lean back, oops, lean back like that to get past that mount up there. So got the clean one out and we're gonna work on the dirty one. But I thought I'd practice with the clean one. There you go, got her stripped, all three cylinders are out, we're right at the three hour mark. And I was told to plan for four to five hours for a professional tech to take it apart 
you also pay for drive time, 45 minutes each way. That's another, what, hour and a half? So that puts us at six and a half hours minimum at at least a hundred bucks an hour. I can't imagine I'm charging any less. My, my guess would be maybe 150 bucks an hour. So if you can do it yourself, you're money ahead. So we'll review. Had a jack up on little blocks there for that rail. This rail's on a 29 inch block. Geez, you gotta take all kinds of crap apart. This bracket had to come off, had to loosen this out to get the cylinder up. Oh, I don't know. There's the mount for the main cylinder. So you're flipping hoses back and forth and making room. And of course, I don't have any caps or plugs for metric. So uh, just a little bit of uh, electrical tape and some whatever paper towel. So it'll work. So I'm going to have to try to flush the hydraulic system and see if we can get all that metal out of there. I'm not sure. We'll get into that tomorrow. But it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Got a few minutes to get those into town. So I'll get them on a pallet, load them in the pickup truck, give my contact a call and say, hey, we're on the way. So there you go. If you enjoyed this big old grease bomb oily mess video, give it the thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, sorry. Give it the thumbs down, I don't care. It all counts to me, it's activity on my channel.